I'll just give you an update on where we are, the subframe. Uh, as you can see, uh, all the members I showed in the first video are now welded in. This is the pattern side, gearbox side. Just moving around, uh, this is the area, the front here for the uh, gearbox mount. Uh, I had to make a modification at the front here for the exhaust to pass through. Um, and the, um, the driver's side, I've put uh, a couple of extra reinforcements in this corner here. You can see a gusset, a uh, horizontal gusset, and also one down the bottom at 45 degrees. There's a small semicircular cutout there, that's for the uh, bottom poly. Um, and then you can see the rest of it at the top here, quite a lot of gussets. Uh, back area, a rear part of the tower, there's an extra gusset in there on the cross member and that flat plate with three holes in um, is a fixed mount for the rear engine carrier. Um, welded plate in the back here just for a bit of extra extra reinforcement. And I have put the um, subframe there next to the car, or onto the car, uh, just to um, make sure everything fits and there's enough clearance on everything, which there is. So that's all good. So I'm just about to uh, get a coat of primer on. Just got this cleaned up, just warming the garage up at the moment. Uh, so yeah, see you later. So here we have the subframe. I've just uh, painted it. It's got a couple of coats of galvanised uh, spray paint on. Uh, just as a uh, first coat. Um, I will be painting this probably gloss black I would think. Um, so you can get a better view now, now it's got uh, some paint. Um, for those who are familiar with the subframe, mini subframe, if you look at the bottom just here, and also here you can see the original uh, tie bar mounts. And this front cross member up to here is original, and just a little bit the other side. And of course the towers, everything else on the sides um, has been replaced uh, to suit this application. Uh, I'll just swing around a minute just to show you the engine mounts I've got ready. Uh, they've been painted now so they're ready to uh, be fitted. Uh, so just give us a minute, I'll just get the camera reset. So these are the engine mounts I've done, I'll just point, and point out what's what. Uh, this one at the back here uh, is a Nissan rear engine mount. Uh, I've drilled it just to get a little bit of weight out of it. Uh, it has been modified just to clear the subframe. Uh, the one at the rear in the middle here is the front mount. Uh, the, the rubber section is actually a Land Rover Range Rover mount. Uh, pretty tough, they don't really move that much. This one here is a mount for the top of the gearbox. So that will mount to the existing four holes on the top side of the gearbox, plus another two uh, beneath here that mount to the vertical, um, vertical face of the gearbox on the front side. And again, on the right hand side, here, another Land Rover Range Rover mount. That's a piece that gets bolted to the subframe uh, to take this mount here. And I'll put it together in a, a few minutes and you can see it, uh, see it together. And then this particular mount here is the front mount. Uh, sorry, it's the rear mount, or half of it. And the other half of it is here. That's subframe side. This one's engine side. And this particular mount here is sandwiched between the two, uh, taking up some of the shock. So here we have the uh, subframe with the mounts now added. I've just uh, bolted those in, just a couple of minute job. Uh, just to recap, gearbox, uh, front mount here, with the uh, bush beneath it, and the rear mount, that's a two section, uh, two part mount, one's the block, one's the subframe, um, to hold the engine, so that's all done. And the fourth one, I mentioned earlier, the Nissan one, which fits at the rear of the subframe, just in here. Um, I can't really fit that until the engine's in situ. So yeah, the next video I'll show you that um, with the engine in and uh, the subframe back on the car. I just thought I'd uh, show you the body of the Mini, uh, whilst I've got the camera here. Uh, not an awful lot of progress really, I've got the cage uh, bolted in there, um, except the door bars, but everything else I think is now in. Um, I'm waiting for some seats to turn up, um, they're on order, I think it's about three week or so delivery. Uh, they're moulded carbon fibre seats. Um, so when they turn up I can then get the gear change in place, steering column sorted out and then everything then has to come out to be painted uh, and then everything can then start being built up from that point forward. Uh, but yeah that's the main dependency in the interior. I've got the battery box in situ, that just occupies the space where the rear seat used to go. I had to do a little bit of cutting out of the uh, uh, seat base very straightforward, really, that's bolted in place. So yeah, interior, I'm waiting for seats. 
Um, so yeah, next video, hopefully there'll be some seats in situ, gear change sorted out, steering column in place, and door bars fitted so we can then line up. So yeah, just one thing I'm waiting for at the moment. And just down below here, you just see the uh, gearbox linkage uh, waiting to be positioned. Okay, I'll uh, see you on the next video.